We have now almost done with parliamentary uh, results. So the next step is to look into presidential. So I think probably within the next 48 hours, we should be in a position to know. But strange enough, the anxiety on when are we going to get the results is strange. I know years back, and there were elections, I think, in Mozambique. It took them two weeks to get the results because the country is vast and remo you know, with remote areas. So it's the same thing as Zimbabwe, as I was saying, you know, with four ballot boxes, I mean, on the ballots on, on, on a single day. And we want to give the correct picture to the people rather than rush things and in the end people complain that, you know, we have rigged the elections. I think people should just be patient. If there had been any vote rigging, surely um, the ruling party should have, you know, should be probably scoring 100% of, of the votes. But uh, since, you know, we were even trailing in that election, it doesn't make common sense, uh, sense to anybody that you really rig an election where you lose. If, if, like the quality of this, if we are concerned about the improvement of the quality of life of the Chinese people, we have to stay engaged. The Zimbabweans came out of a war of liberation. They've seen it, what it means. They know what violence is. And we don't have strong ethnic differences. We are peace-loving people. I think politically we are mature. What happened in Kenya, I don't, I, I don't see it happening in Zimbabwe. If it, 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 it were to happen, it should have, it should have happened. Sure, well, but why should I? You know, um, Sudan is a member of the United Nations. Every head of state is... I think he has his mark in history. No matter what happens, nobody can take it away from him. He is the founding leader of Zimbabwe. Whether he loses or wins, that, you know, history will still give it to him.